Let's continue on with the two categorical variables. We had looked at whether you own a car or not and your gender and trying to relate those. And to do that, we created this uh, two-way table, it's called here, where we counted up how many people are in each of the overlapping boxes. Yes male, yes female, no male, no female. Um, now, there is another way to enter this data into StatKey. So if we choose to, we can actually go ahead and copy all of this data directly. And then when we go into uh, StatKey, this is our data we had before, click Edit Data, and we can delete all of this and paste in what we just had from our spreadsheet. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with, uh, I did with the titles before. So own and then gender are my one word titles. And then I have all of my data here. And the most important thing I have to do is check raw data. So checking raw data means it's going to come in this format. The header row means that I have titles up here, which I do. So I'm going to leave that checked. Hit OK. And you'll see that my graphs do not change. My table does not change. And that's because I entered the exact same data. And if I go back here, it's still the exact same data I typed in. So it should end up exactly the same as I typed it just a second ago. Uh, the nice thing about this is if you ever have a spreadsheet to start, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to directly transfer it in than to count it all up, especially if your data set is very large. You still will go through and do the same analysis you would before with your row and your column breakdowns. You can look at those percentages and see how they compare. You can look at your graphs and say, wow, this graph has a large fraction uh, of no's for the males, but this one is only 50% no's for the females. So you can say that that is disproportionate. Those don't line up. Something is wrong or something is dependent. Gender influences whether or not they own a car.